and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Garen Knight. We're going to be just having a short stream tonight, just going to be playing two Garen decks. Garen LeBlanc uh, after this, but first Garen Sejuani. That's going to be the deck that we're starting off with. I think Garen's pretty underrated. It's just a really good blocker. It's got regeneration with all these people playing these poppy decks and smaller units. A card like Garen uh, can just uh, shut down people from attacking, allow you to attack. It's just a you know a very strong card. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of show off the power of Garen today. Um, you know this one is going to be a deck paired with uh, Sejuani and some powerful Overwhelm at the top end, having Garen and Radiant Guardian play some defense for you and let you uh, stay alive to get to these Overwhelm units with Battle Fury with them. You can also Battle Fury Raiding Guardian and get lots of lifesteal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But you can see this is kind of like an anti-aggressive deck, you know, like trying to fight the Poppy decks where you can, uh, you know, use Garen to stabilize, Radiant Guardian to stabilize. Tavern Keeper also heals your Nexus, right? So you're, you're doing that. You're uh, awesome in combat because with Freljord with Garen, you get Troll Chant to go along with Sharp Sight. So both of those spells help protect Garen, really make it difficult for Garen to die. You also have single combat for Garen to strike. But then you have like, you know, you're like, well, how do we actually win the games? Of course, if you have round start rally, you get some really big overwhelms. So you're attacking all the time with like these big overwhelms, battle fury, the overwhelms. That's how we can win. Um, early on in the game, we have sentry for some card draw, omen hawk for, you know, just this nice little speed bump blocker that also grows a couple of things. And then the Fleet Feather Tracker Bright Steel Protector combo. In the mid game, like round three, round four, we're probably going to be saving up spell mana. But remember, Ancient Yeti, you know, it doesn't look like we have much round three, round four. But if you have Ancient Yeti in your opening hand, by the time round four uh, rolls around, it will cost four mana. So this, this is kind of like our four drop uh, when we're thinking about our curve. All right, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and try this out. We'll got, we're playing in rank today, and we're going to be playing Garen Sejuani. All right, we got uh, Landmark Control with Zillion and Zareth. We got Garen board, Garen card back. I always forget the Garen board's kind of louder than the other boards. So I'm going to lower the music some. Uh, ho ho you know, I'm just kind of doing that off the cuffs. Hopefully that's a good enough volume. Let's go ahead and keep, keep Protector. I'm going to keep Ancient Yeti into Garen. We don't have to be like super, you know, A, our deck's not really super fast ever, but we don't have to really make sure that we have a whole lot of early units against uh, Zareth Zillion, because they're like a more control style deck. Switchblade! Thanks for the sub right there. Thanks for that support with Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. Is always the same. They're out there. I'll spot them. How is the music volume now, how I lowered the music volume? How does it sound to y'all? All right, probably just passing. An endless devout. Um, I guess I could play the bright steel protector. I'll just pass. I'll only waste one mana. I don't really want to play anything. And we got Mervin. Keeping that streak going. Thank you, Mervin. I really appreciate that. All right, so Ancient Yeti. We'll have the Vulnerable. That's all right. The in-game sounds are a little loud. Maybe I just shouldn't have re reduced anything then. Maybe I should have just kept it all the same. Okay. I think I will just take this. Yeah. Oh my I'm not that worried about that four damage. We got a Tavern Keeper. Of course, Tavern Keeper can also heal we fight for those who um, the Ancient Yeti. Definitely didn't want to use any spells right there because I wanted to make sure to have the spell mana for after I play Garen. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought they would want that to die. They could have the deal four damage card. Oh, they do. Okay, so I, I was thinking about that and like how I could use Troll Chain in case they had that, but. Let's go ahead and single combat kill Zillion. So Garen levels up? No. No, we'll just keep that same. Yeah. Okay. So I should have used. I guess I should use the troll champ first because that was pretty, um, pretty obvious that they were gonna have that card. Okay. Well, we got new Garen. Kordak! With the resub. Well, yeah, we got the hype train going with these different resubs. Yeah, so we're so I'm playing so I'm playing Kordak, I'm playing your deck. We're playing two Kordak decks here with the the, the Garen, the Blanc, Garen, Sejuani. Alright, we wanna keep Zillion from leveling up. The benefit of romancy. Stay resolute. So this is actually gonna happen first, so now the Zillion levels up. That's right. We go, <laughs> we go. Uh, Kordak day, we get, um, we get high boats. Ooh. Hmm. Definitely wish I had one extra mana. So at least we know we're going to be able to kill uh, Zillion and level up Garen. The first damage we've done to them, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that card's intriguing. What do they have? No spell shield, but everything else. George! Bringing him out. This is gonna work, right? I just make Garen a ten ten. If I played this, it just dies, but that's all right. They have zero mana. I could, you know, I could do this first and have Sejuani be a 5 2 and then get the 3 2 also, but the 3 2 just doesn't do anything. Doesn't matter, so I think I'd rather just have the 5 6 and then have like a, a 5 2 and a 3 2. Alright, so I, I said that Gar Garen's really good. Wanted to show off the power of Garen. Well, we just had Garen take down the arsenal. So it doesn't get much better than that. Alright, we have the attack token on the odd turns. I guess we're going to mulligan the Sejuani. Um, and maybe I mulligan the Sprite Seal Protector. So we're playing Heimer Vi. 
And we actually keep that and just send this send this back. We'd rather, yeah, we'd rather just kind of have some spells. We're going to want both of our champions, though. High Revive probably don't have to do a whole lot super early. Ancient Yeti is cool. So it did turn down, like, different volume things. Do, do y'all think the volumes are at a good level right now, or should I turn them back up? I did turn I turned down the music and the SFX. We just again use this round for saving spell mana. It's quite unfortunate. My troll chance gonna cost four mana. Alright, cool. Chat saying sound is good. We'll kind of do our, we'll do our normal curve of, well, I don't know about normal, but we'll do our uh, curve that we like with Ancient Yeti into Garen into Sejuani, but with, uh, it's possible that we just go Wild Claw on 6 since we don't have the attack token and go Sejuani on 7. They want to make this trade, so then this turns into a 5-4 for that. I think a good thing about this block for me is now they don't have like that 1-1 one, one to throw in front of Garen, right? Like if we're going to be attacking with Garen this next round, the 1-1 one, one wasn't a super easy block for them. For king and country. All right, so obviously this is a removal spell. If I attack with both of my things, they get to block and then use that removal spell. So I'm gonna, let's see, four, five, six, seven. I think, yeah, so I think we just actually pass. And then if they waste that card, they waste that card. Oh, okay, not a removal spell. So the most they can have for killing Garen's a Mystic Shot, which we can stop with a Sharp Sight. Want to take all that damage? Hey, Nas, do you think Ascendants could level up to level 3 in different ways other than Sun Disk? So, you know, right now they can't in the game. So I think what you're asking is, like, could they design them in such a way where they'd have a, an additional level up clause so you wouldn't have to play sun disc i think that, that that could be fair i think you'd want to make it uh pretty difficult you want to incentivize people to play sun disc with you having sun disc in the game but i think that that's a realistic thing to uh maybe have there be an alternate level up condition but have it be difficult not I kind of don't want to play wild claw and then they thermo for five to kill Garen and then I can't protect Garen anymore I want to just do this here comes the punchline um okay I don't need a plan. Please. I didn't have, even if I don't play this Fleet Feather Tracker, I don't have the mana for um, keeping Troll Chant available. You own what you take. So shiny. You like to develop, yeah, you like just saving and then this round play tracker, have them play a more valuable target for Sejuani and then Sejuani. That's completely fair. 
Looks like their most likely spell. I'm just gonna put it in front of the Sejuani. If something bad happens to Sejuani, we do have backup Sejuani. Alright, so they're gonna keep Garen from leveling up. We're in a tough spot. We have a lot of stuff out here. Now they only have six mana. I can do this. Look, nothing. Elf, that's not ours. Rude. I should have played the other Wild Claw before attacking. I mean, this way I have both Troll Chant and Fury. Wait, so they just have this Viego's Champion spell? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's a Bandle City card. Or Vagar. Vagar and Viego. <laughs> Those two. What's up, Aroas? Uh, donation deck list. Uh, let's see. We did that, that. Shurima for all your. We did that. We did those, th those three yesterday. Uh, it wasn't me. Go away. Okay, I have two ranked, two meme tier, and two that I'm not exactly sure if they're ranked or meme tier. So we have six total decks. Okay, what did they do? Stress defense this thing. I'm planning on doing uh, more donation decks tomorrow. So like those two ranked, and then maybe one of those other ones also ranked. All right, so that's gonna be a two and O. Oh. Garen looking good. Garen just so hard to kill. We've seen. Draven Zion. All right, they can. Maybe deal with a Garen. They got some bigger stuff. Um, let's get rid of this, and we'll keep these. I'm with Hawk. That's my bird. Why do you keep Tavern Keeper versus Draven? I don't know. Is it not not any good? I thought they would probably do some damage to us, and we'd. But I guess we could have it for later also. But I have all these bright steel protectors. The not an early game. They do have a lot of fearsome things. My shield is yours. For justice. For Demacia. For justice and for Demacia. If I attack with Garen, they block with a 4-2. I have to troll chant. Yeah, I have to troll champ because of get excited. My steel is yours. That thing can attack. Justice waits for no. 
Yeah, maybe we just pass. That says go ahead and pass. Especially when we got like this judgment. <clears throat> maybe just keeping more things on the board is a good idea. I stand ready. Man, one mana short. What I'm scared of with this judgment is that they have double double get excited or get excited mystic shot. It's very possible. No closer. All right, second troll chant. We'll go ahead and use a troll chant here with having a second one. I mean, I guess I could have just used Battle Fury also, I suppose. I guess I, I have seen Scorched in this in playing against this deck before, but I don't think it's likely. I kinda wanna play this Battle Fury. I just have nothing else to do. But then again, I'd rather have that on an overwhelm unit, obviously. Because they probably just have so many things to block. That's what gives me pause. Reborn Grenadier and survival skills is pretty rough. Justice waits for no. For the Alright, so that's the third Poro Cannon, right? So we've had three Reborn Grenadiers. Man, are you always like this? Right, they've had three of those things. Yeah, three Reborn Grenadiers. Pretty sure that's the third Poro Cannon. There we go. Finally found an overwhelm thing for the Battle Fury. It's definitely thinking about getting the, the Battle Fury on the Radiant Guardian. Bow to no one. Born for conquest. No cheers. You call them blood.
ground they die on. That sounds intense. Sure, this is game. Yeah. So I mean that's lethal right there. It's like they'll let that happen. I can also do this. Keep my Sejuani alive and make it like a lot more lethal. That's cool too. Alright. Three and oh. We kept Garen alive just long enough, and we fi finally found an Overwhelm unit to finish the, the game. Ooh, same matchup again. It's not necessarily my favorite matchup. I think that some things went right for us there. Uh, we had a we, we had a good hand. Like, yeah, a lot of things went right for us there. We had a good hand. They didn't have Draven on three. Uh, I'm going to keep Troll Chant. I'm gonna want that troll chant. Yeah, this is this is not a, a great matchup for us, but we can win, as we saw with that game. But if we're like ranking decks we want to play, this is not high on the list. I don't know if we're playing against the same opponent or not. I don't know if we got paired against somebody else, also playing Draven Sion or just the same opponent again. I wasn't paying attention to the name of our previous opponent. I prefer it to be somebody else, just so that they don't know our deck as well. Because you know, obviously, we know what Draven Sion's all about, but like our opponent would know basically what our deck's all about. Look out for reavers. Alert the villain. All right, Cyclone. Thanks for hanging out for a little while. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Yeah, they didn't have that card last round either. So, like, yeah, this this game, they have a lot better hand. Round 3, Draven. Round 4, Twin Blade Revenant. And, obviously, I have a lot worse hand. So that's not a great combination together. Axes coming right up. So I don't love doing all that. Man. So Garen's got to do a whole lot, because I have three cards and they have 30. <laughs> Foes. 
So they just have they're just playing like normal whirling death, that's not Draven's whirling death. Try and keep everything over three health for for get excited is really rough. It's not easy to do. I think we op so if we open attack and then get excited, they block this and get excited, Garen. Like, what do I do? Do I battle fury the Garen? Because we really want this Battle Fury on the Wild Claw. Alright, we'll save Garen. Okay. Yeah, great. Really good hand opponent. <laughs> Very good hand. They had, you know, the multiple Dravens, they had this thing, and then multiple Get Excited. This is not a good good matchup when they have that kind of hand. Yeah, and then Scion. So, they got us. I used a ton of our combat tricks earlier, which we probably need to save. It was probably round four where, where we lost, where I spent, you know, four cards to take out Draven, basically. That's where we lost the game. Yeah, we're kind of doing champion spotlight today. We're playing, we're spotlighting Garen. Got two Garen decks. Got it. So this is a this is a matchup that's all about combat, and I I like sharp sights for this matchup. We're gonna have our Yeti on four. We're gonna save some spell mana. They didn't block the previous time, so I was thinking I could sneak another point of damage in there. Of course, with the Radiant Guardian, maybe I should have waited. We haven't used the most mana. <laughs> Waste, wasted a lot of mana, but we have a lot of combat tricks. If I don't, if I don't pull the bruiser, they get to choose where they, who they want the bruiser to block. If I choose here, we don't heal our nexus at all, but we're threatening more overwhelm damage. You like challenge with the Eddie? To go for heal on the nexus. All right. Not a chance. Do 
Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. All right, so they're at 20 out of 30. For Sivir. Both the Yeti and the Radiant Guardian have taken two damage as far as Tavern Keeper is concerned. You cannot run from absolution. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Danger pays. My deal is yours. Prove your worth. I will end this here. So you have their allies get plus one plus zero. Hold back the darkness. Ready the torches. Oh, right, right, that's focus speed. They didn't use it beforehand. Right, so can't do anything with that now. I guess I'm going to trade that thing off. So this is me killing both their champions. So they're, they probably need to act first. They only have four spells we don't know about. We have four spells we can cast right now. You know, I don't have the mana for for five, but we have the mana for four. We laugh at them. Ha! We still have two troll chants available. Feel like we need it. Mm. Just in case, I could, you know, I could do better, but just in case they have two more pump spells. I probably need to do that. Maybe the Radiant Guardian? Or maybe I should just be passing because of Fight Spell. Keep this available for Fight Spell. I guess if they do go fight spell, I'll regret that. Enough stalling. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton, right, Ara? This one's on the house. Strike for justice. Your funeral. That Radiant Guardian had permanent vulnerable. Virtue guides me. You get a new Radiant Guardian that doesn't. Steal from the rich and give to the us. Wow. They're still getting a whole lot of cards thanks to these. You know, like they're still good. They're gonna have a lot of cards. This is not the time that we want to be drawing one mana cards. Our last two draws were both one drops. This doesn't look so good. Not looking too good. This is work. 
All that does is, I guess, is just six damage to us and they get another lucky find. That's really not that big a deal, I suppose. Come on, Battle Fury! Battle Fury! We've drawn a lot better than us. We've drawn three one mana cards in a row, which if you play ever play mid range decks in the late game, you don't want to draw your one mana cards. So we've gotten very unlucky with just three one mana cards in a row. I feel like there was. Looking back at it though, you know, we did have a lot of combat tricks. There's probably something that I did wrong. But the, the action, you know, action just has, you know, playing action led to draw three with those, um, those other cards, and that's just kind of too many. All that glitters is mine. It's going to be a six, seven. All right, so we didn't. We finally didn't draw a one mana card. So that's good. Business as usual. Certainly hoping for not ricochet. Yes, Battle Fury. We actually, we got there. Thank you, Sejuani. Thank you, Sejuani. We finally didn't draw one mana cards. And there we go. That's a 4-1 in ranked. Showed, we didn't get to do too much cool stuff with Garen that last game, but we got to show off Sejuani. But yeah, I like this. Just Garen and Sejuani are really, really strong champions, especially if you can protect them. They're really good in combat. And that's what we were able to do with having Sharp Sight Single Combat Troll Chance. We did lose one time to the Draven Scion. I think that's a tough matchup for this deck. But we did beat Draven Scion another time. So we showed that even though it's a tough matchup, it is winnable. But I think more often than not, Draven Scion is going to win this matchup. But I think other like that Action Sivir, I think we should be a little favored over the Long Haul. Um, and same with like the Poppy decks. and Because there's so many decks with just small uh, units these days. And um, and I think this deck can do really well against them because you just put up bigger bodies and then you also have the combat tricks to finish it out. All right, but that's going to be it for Garen Sejuani. So those of you all uh, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. If you want to, you want to play a Garen deck or want to attack the metagame from a different angle, go and give this a try. Go bigger and use and uh, use a bunch of combat tricks. It works out well. Yeah, you said the Omen Hawks aren't terrible. Yeah, they're not terrible at all. They're not, I, yeah, like I said, like it's not it's not like a necessary has to be re replaced or anything. I'm just saying that's a card to watch out for for maybe improving. 
Uh, but, or, but anyway, that's going to be it for Garen Sejuani. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.